بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دس از مس سہار ہیئر فرام میٹروپولیٹن اسکول اٹس میتھس ٹائم فار کلاس فائیو ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی ایکسرسائز ون سی وچ از آل اباؤٹ ملٹیپلیکیشن اینڈ ڈویژن ٹوڈے ویل ہیو سم ریویو آف ملٹیپلیکیشن اینڈ ڈویژن وتھ سم نیو ایزی اینڈ شارٹ tricks or methods if we remember these rules for multiplication and division then i am sure that you will be able to solve some of the multiplication questions easily and even verbally so what the rule is that is the rule for multiplication by 10 hundred and thousand The rule is when we multiply a number by 10 hundred in thousand then we have to place zeros on the right and move the number towards the left same as when we divide a number by 10 hundred in thousand what we have to do we simply have to remove zeros and move the numbers towards the left let's practice this rule of multiplication and division in exercise 1c of your book here we have question number 4 multiply the following numbers by 10 the number we have in a part is 105322 let's multiply this by 10 So what was the rule for solving by 10 it was that first of all place zeros to the right now how many zeros in 10 one zero so let's first put zero to the right and then the number to the left so what is the number let's write start writing the number from the left we have 2,2,3,5,0,1 What we did? We put 0 to the right and then the number to the left. Is it? Is it like that? Is it according to the rule? So now what it becomes? It becomes 1,053,200 Twenty. Is it easy now? Now let's learn division by ten. Again, we are going to solve question number seven from your book. Divide the following numbers by ten, and the number is three hundred and forty-seven thousand and eighty. So, what was the rule of division? Do you remember? it was first of all remove zeros so what do we mean by removing zeros tell me how many zeros in 10 there is one zero and can you see any zeros in the original digit yes it also has one zero in the end the last digit okay so now we have to remove zeros first then how can we remove zeros we can only remove one zero from the right side and one zero from the left side why because we have only one zero in the right side right so here i am going to remove by cutting these zeros you can cut this by pencil here i am going to show you this zero is going to be cancel or remove with this zero okay so we have removed zeros then what was according to the rule then write the number to the left let's start writing the number what is the number which is left 3 4 7 0 8 okay So what we got after division we got 
again I am going to apply the same multiplication rule but by 100 multiplication right so here we have question number 5 multiplication by 100 the digit we have is 45,018 we have to multiply this digit by 100 again simple it is first we have to write zeros to the right so how many zeros we have how many zeros we have here we have two zeros to the right side so we are going to write two zeros to the right and then digit to the left so let's write the digit to the left that we have eight one zero five four so what we got after multiplication 4,501,800. Let's apply again the division rule in question number 8. Divide the following numbers by 100. The digit we have is 18,400 and the rule was that first we have to remove zeros. So I'm going to cancel the zeros now from the right side to the left side. First zero to the right side and the for 0 to the left side then second 0 to the right side and then second 0 to the left side and then the number which is left which remains we have to put it to the left side the number which remains is 184 all right so Again, apply same multiplication rule in question number 6. Multiply the following numbers by 1000. Let's multiply 618,500 multiply by 1000. Again, what was the rule? That first of all, write zeros to the right side. So, how many zeros are there? There are 3 zeros to the right side and then the number to the left side now what is the number the number which we have is zero zero five eight one and then six so this becomes six hundred and eighteen million five hundred thousand now let's solve question number 9 that is division by 1000 and the digit we have is 856,000 divided by 1000. Again what was the rule? Let's first of all cancel 4 0 to the right side and 4 0 to the left side then second and then third. So the digit which remains is going to be shifted to the left side and that is 856 okay now quickly pause the video and solve these questions in your copy let's review about multiplication process take an example we have 72,562 multiply by 169 right First of all, what you have to do? You have to write these vertically. We first multiply this 9 with the whole of this value. Right? How do we multiply it? You have been doing this previously. We have to first read the table of 9 till 2. 9 twos are, yes, what? 9 twos are? 18, 18 ka beta 8 hum yaha likh denge and 1 would be carry. Now, what the second digit is? Second digit we have 6. So, we have to multiply 9 with 6. 9, 6 are 54. 54 plus 1, 55. 55 ka beta 5 yaha likh diya and 5 would be carry. Then, what the next digit is? 5 again. So, 9, 5s are... जब भी हम first digit की multiplication complete कर लेते हैं, तो हमें second digit की multiplication के लिए क्या करना पड़ता है बेटा? We have to write zero here. 
वंस प्लेस पे हम एक जीरो मेंशन करते हैं ताकि हम नेक्स्ट डिजिट की मल्टीप्लीकेशन को स्टार्ट कर सकें नाइन से हमारी मल्टीप्लीकेशन कंप्लीट हो गई बेटा अब हम स्टार्ट करेंगे सिक्स से मल्टीप्लीकेशन सिक्स से हम क्या मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे सबसे पहले सिक्स से हम मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे टू देन सिक्स देन फाइव देन टू देन सेवन राइट कैन यू सॉल्व इट बाई योर सेल्फ सी सिक्स टू You can see we have multiplied all the digits with six. Now, when we will move forward towards one, before that we have to put two zeros. Then, right? So now let's start multiplication with one to the whole of the this digit. But now, what you have to do? You have to add up all these. Values. Can you add these by yourself? Now this is the answer for this multiplication process. Do you understand this? What we did? We first multiply nine with the whole of this value, then six. With the whole of this value, then one with the whole of this value, and we put zero to the second row, and then two zeros to the third row before solving the multiplication process. Then we add all these values, and finally we got the multiplication answer. Now you can easily solve the given questions in this syllabus. Thank you so much. Goodbye.